Have you added soap? Yeah. Hello everyone. You're humbly welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Rufida Tankia. I'm currently in my hometown and we are in the Habata season. Today the weather is not quite good. It's very windy. It's very early in the morning and the wind is so strong. So I want to share with you how we do our dishes, especially how we clean our pot here in Navrungu. So here is my sister, my cousin. Let me show you. My cousin has already started. This is Cynthia, my sister. She has already started cleaning the pots. So what we used to clean our pots. So these pots were cooked with firewood. So you can see they are very dark. It's very black so she needs to clean it very well so what she's using is the sand and then some soap to clean it the wind today is very strong the weather is very cold as well so this is what we grew up doing so usually this is what the females in the house do especially young children the young girls in the houses this is their duties so you usually do this in the morning or in the evening she has done a good job here she has cleaned it very well it's looking fresh hey, thumbs up to madame yes thumbs up <laughs> you have done well should i help you should i help you yeah <laughs> you wash hey you have to wash because i used to do this for you when you were younger you couldn't do this and i used to wash so it's now your turn so you used to wash okay So she's now rinsing the pots. So I'll show you how the when she starts with this one too as well, so that you see the difference, the amazing transformation that it will go through. So this is how the other pot looks like. These pots were cooked with firewood on um, stones uh, on our local stove yes so that's why the color is like this but after cleaning you'll be amazed so she has just kept the sun on it and she's rubbing it with her palm let's see how she's going have you added soap yeah. okay So this is Cynthia doing her work. So this is her morning chores. So what young girls in the homes of Inavrungo do every morning is to clean dishes, wash the plates, wash the pots. Then for lucky for us, we have a pipe in our house. So she doesn't have to, we don't go out to fetch water at the bowl so for other people they will clean the dishes then also go out to fetch water at the borehole area so the extreme and that's a borehole over there that's where we used to fetch water from but right now we have one a, a pipe and there's also another one at the far end over there and one right me in front of this house the house right over there there's a pipe a borehole over there so the whole community goes over there to fetch water and what did you use this pot to cook what did you use this pot the pot what did you use it to cook ah okay in this house there's no day that passed without us eating desserts 
it is our staple food it's see that it's made out from um corn yeah i think the kenyans have something called ogali i don't know if i'm right correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section ugali or ugali ugali i think it's ugali so tz is similar to that one just that tz is lighter as compared to ugali see the amazing transformation so i'll take over from cynthia and clean the other one and you see i want to show you my skills see our beautiful fowls And Madam Doc, I think this is a female dog. Eh? Is it female? Male? Huh? They are all male. Oh, okay. So the dog is a male. The other one is lying there. The brown dog was in this one. This one doesn't have a name. What of the other one? Oh, how? I don't know we used to give uh, names to the dogs. Oh, I see. Huh? Uh, we used to have a dog that was called Reason. I used to love that dog so much. He was very hairy. Had a lot of fur. So for the inside, she's using. Hey, how do I call this thing? So, is it is it the skin the skin of this uh, stick? She has peeled the skin out, and she's using it to clean the inside of the pot. And then she asks Sun to help her clean it well. And the wind is very strong. I think I'm having a running nose. Well, no, I don't know the person. What? Ah, Yoko. So I, I just learned that today is a market day. Oh God, when will this hammer tango? Mm. So she's done with this one too. Have you seen the transformation? See how different it looks. Yeah. So this is the next one to be clean. So she's going to pour the water in the other one, then clean this particular one. So I'll take over from here so that you see it's how black it is. So let's see how this one too goes. So I'm getting ready to wash the spots. Yep. Let me tie my cloth very well. Oh. Oh my goodness. How do you do it? Okay. Also, get the sun. And you do it like this. And then pull this up. Okay. Woo! See how my skin is. You just have to gently rub the sun on the surface of the pot like this. It just says when they tell you to come and clean the pots, you'll be angry. You didn't like to do house chores. Sometimes you can even go and hide. Go and hide. Where 
Where's the soap? Oh, okay. So it's not yet done. It's quite okay, but it's not all that done. So I need to go. I need to go all over again. This time I'll add the soap. So I'll add it to the sand. Oh, my soap has fallen off. The wind is very strong. So most people do not like this wind at all. Because the least mistake you get a cold. I'm now raising it up. I think it's quite okay. <laughs> I've tried. I think it's quite okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Let me clean the inside. So these were the pots we used to cook food on the for the Christmas, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Over here we really cook big. So unfortunately I couldn't create content on that because I got home and I was so sick so I didn't have the strength to create content on how we celebrate Christmas in Navrongo but there are still more years to come so hopefully the next Christmas I will try and share that with you all so I'm going to clean the inside so in Navrongo during Christmas we cook I think this was used for rice we cook, and this was, was still we cook quite much the food is always plenty because you need to share with your neighbors so we cook so much the neighbors too will bring you food and you in turn also send food to your neighbor's house so that's how we live here we are all family members here so almost all the people around here are in one way or the other related to me or I'm in one way or the other related to the people around us. So they are all my family members. Please subscribe to the channel. I beg, please support your girl by subscribing, like the video, share and leave your comments how you clean dishes in your villages in your countries how do you clean and my palm is very smooth right now wow <laughs> it feels smooth so how do you clean your pot too in your village please kindly share with us leave a comment how you clean dishes in your villages this is how we do it in Navrongo in Ghana Navrongo is in the upper east region of Ghana so this is how we clean our pot. We use sand, water, then our pump. This. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Yo, my sister said we don't use machines here. Yes. We still haven't gotten to that part of living a luxurious life. Although there are some places in Ghana that they use Machines, wash, uh, dishwashers, and all that. People are really living a good life also in Ghana. So, this is our artificial sponge. <laughs> oh, this is not artificial. This is natural sponge. This is our natural sponge. When we are all done, our water is not enough. So we'll send it inside and do proper cleaning because our water isn't enough. The water is almost done. It's finished.
thank you all so much for watching this video please kindly give it a thumbs up like the video share share it with your family and friends so that they get to know how we do our dishes here in Avrongo in Ghana so I'll see you all in my next video thank you so much Akia Lady Day so Akia Lady Day in it's um, in my language Kasim it simply means thank you so much bye bye